Hey everyone, welcome to Planes Overhead and uh, just doing a short video today on uh, Pratt & Whitney Neo problems uh, which airlines have faced around the world, especially in India. Uh, most of the problems have been rectified as of now but the primary aim I've, uh, I'm making this video is to help the aspiring pilots uh, to be able to answer about these issues in an interview which is very commonly asked. So first one uh, is the combustion chamber distress. So temperature changes caused due to difference in cooled and uncooled zones of the combustion chamber because of repetitive loads is called thermal fatigue. Okay, so this thermal fatigue was causing distress to the combustion chamber. And the problem was that the combustion chamber linings had some unexpected hot spots. It was not planned, unforeseen kind of thing, which is reducing the operational life of the combustion chamber. So the fix provided was that a combustion chamber with more pores was introduced, which provided more cooling, which uh, reduced the distress on the combustion chamber. The next is the high pressure compressor rear knife edge seal failure. So excessive heat was causing the failure of the compressor seal. The broken seal started damaging the compressor and turbine. So what was happening was temperature at the rear end of the dry face seal was increasing more than the front end because the front end was not uh, I mean, the rear end was not lubricated adequately. So modification of the seal was done, which would increase the flow of oil, leading to higher lubrication at the rear end of the engine. The rear end was not getting enough lubrication, and hence, excessive heat was causing the failure of the seal. And the dry face carbon seal was introduced by the company, that is Pratt & Whitney, of course, as a replacement to this. Number three bearing pre and post mod failures. So the aircraft started reporting oil metal, metal detector warnings. The third bearing compartment of the engine had a seal which didn't work currently at high flight levels. Because of the thin air, it caused some seal members to sometimes oscillate. This left metal particles in the engine oil which gave warnings pointing to a potential engine problem. Then the manufacturer changed the seal to a more classical carbon seal which also helped remove this issue. Then low pressure turbine failure. So these failures appeared to be caused by impact damage occurring when debris passed through the engine. For example, some bird hit or something happened. And uh, this impact that caused on the turbine was creating this problem. So they, redesigned, they simply redesigned and more durable uh, LP turbine stage three blades are now being incorporated on the new engines. Gearbox failure. So what happens is in a high bypass ratio, the fan should actually be running at a slower speed than the engine because the fan has tip speed, you know, limit. So, but if you reduce the speed of the fan, which is actually connected to the LP shaft, it will also reduce the efficiency of the whole engine. Hence, we had a geared turbofan engine with a reduction gearbox located between the fan and the LP shaft, which would be able to optimize rotational speed of both the fan and also the LP shaft to reduce the stages of rotating parts and to reduce the specific fuel consumption noise levels. Okay, so this gearbox was failing, which was leading to a lot of problems. So what they did was they updated the software, which minimized the time spent at excitation speeds, which will significantly reduce the potential of the gear fracture. So more robust gear design was designed, uh, you know, introduced to circumvent this excitation. The last one is the N2 transient vibration. So there was sometimes a temporary HP assembly vibration uh, due to a piston seal. So they redesigned the piston seal in the high pressure compressor. Uh, although the transient vibration may result in an unplanned engine removal, meaning you may have to remove the engine. But uh, as such, there was no in-flight shutdown uh, risk that was associated with this kind of problem. Okay, so thank you for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and like this Facebook page as well. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like this video f share it among your friends it will help all of us and comment below if you have any doubts you can please contact me on the links mentioned on your screen and uh, coming up with another video soon cheers and happy landings